Hi everybody, Gabriel Miguel here. And in this video, I wanted to share a really exciting project that I just finished with you. What I wanna share is the first Anastasia Foundation fundraising deck. I'm very, very proud of it. And it marks a new phase in our work going forward. It marks the beginning of a very large phase of our work that's gonna carry out for decades and generations is my intention. Long after I'm gone from this planet and I'm on to my next body and life in my kin's domain and my children are taking care of the work that I've established and everything, this moment is going to mark um, a very large phase of our work that stretches out very, very far into the future. And it's a mark of our growth and it's a mark of all the things to come. And so I felt like I really wanted to share this with you all so you can get a look at what we've done past, currently, future plans. And honestly, this is the best look at our work that has ever been put together. So this might be insightful and interesting for anybody who wants to learn more about what we're doing and what our plans are. And also you'll get to see a lot more of the mission, of the vision, of the goals, the image, I would like to say, of the Anastasia Foundation, because I've been thinking about that a lot and I'm pretty pleased with uh, the image that I see of the Anastasia Foundation. I'd like you all to see it the way that I see it. And so I wanna share that with you all today. And so you will be able to help us and support us in these missions, in the fulfillment of this image, if you so feel. There's no pressure to give anything, but it's just an interesting video anyway. And if you believe in what we're doing, and you believe in the goals and the plans that I'm about to share with you, then your contribution is absolutely appreciated and it's absolutely gonna make a large impact in this world. Many hands make a miracle. We're all in this together and we can all help each other succeed. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get into the fundraising deck. I'm gonna walk you guys through it and uh, it's, it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you guys through this now. We are the Anastasia Foundation, and we are building the Ringing Cedars of Russia movement in the English-speaking world by connecting, inspiring, and empowering Ringing Cedars readers. And that's the core of our mission. That's the core of our vision. And you're going to get to see much more about that soon. What are the problems that we're facing? And what are the problems that the Anastasia Foundation is looking to solve? And so how I was able to describe this is that Humanity is faced with these major challenges, right? Polluted land, air, water, food, ongoing wars, spiritual emptiness, deteriorating family structures, lack of love, crime, substance abuse, rising poverty, and honestly, the list goes on, right? And there's so many different things that we are faced with as humans right now at this moment in time. And so honestly, the way to get out of all of these things that I just mentioned is all outlined by Anastasia and Vladimir and her grandfathers in the Ringing Seers books. Anastasia's vision needs realization and it needs realization now. It needs to be realized as fast as possible, right? And so for that, we need more readers. We need people to be connected. And so this leads to the third point is that the readers are disconnected. Millions of current Ringing Seers readers in the English speaking world are isolated from each other. Who knows how many there actually are? I know that at least 700,000 new copies of the books were sold in English. Who knows, once you factor in the used book market and sharing books and all these things, how many people have actually read the books? You could conservatively say anywhere from six to low seven figures of people. That's a massive amount of people who are all inspired, and yet we've only been able to connect a fraction of them at this point because a lot of these people are not on the internet and different ways of connecting, but we're growing and we're gonna get all these people. But the fourth thing is that collective action is desperately needed. Anastasia's dream, God's dream, all of these desires for co-creation can only be realized when readers unite and collaborate effectively. In order for the vision and the solutions outlined by Anastasia and Vladimir to actually be realized, People need to be connected and unite and collaborate effectively. These are major problems that we're facing and these are the problems we're trying to solve. And so the solutions to these problems, well, 
the problems of wars and deteriorating family structures and crime that I mentioned in the first point, kin's domains, kin's domain settlements, and this entire lifestyle and these ideas of co-creation are the ultimate solution to all of the problems that humanity faces, all of them. Kin's domains, as described by Anastasia, are the most complete solution ever proposed in human history, addressing all the spiritual, environmental, social, and economic challenges of our time in spades, in abundance, low resource usage, very low cost to implement these solutions. People are willing to do them. They simply need help. They need to be connected. They need to be inspired. They need to have resources, right? It's the ultimate solution and it's the ultimate scalable solution. So we must facilitate co-creation. We must effectively facilitate the co-creation of as many kin's domains as possible across the planet. And this happens by connecting Ringing Cedars readers. In order to address the problems of our time, we need to help people come together and create kin's domains and settlements. That's why I have our beautiful dear friends, Anton and Vika here from Russia. And this is a kin's domain settlement up here. And down here, I believe, is another kin's domain settlement. And this is a vision of the future life. This is a vision of the current life that people are living, right? And so we need to expand the Ringing Cedars readership as well because this entire movement and all of these things come from the fact that people read the books and they're inspired to take action. So the more that we can increase the number of Ringing Cedars readers, the more effectively and quickly we can bring these dreams to realization, right? So we must increase the number of Ringing Cedars readers worldwide as much as possible because inspired action happens after reading the books. And so the Anastasia Foundation, we exist to support these goals right to facilitate the creation of as many kin's domains as possible help people find their soulmates help people find other readers who they build friendships with and connect with and then want to build settlements with and increasing the number of ringing cedars readers as much as we can so we're doing all of these things and we're the only organization in the english speaking world that is doing this i want you guys to understand that there's nobody else even attempting to do anything like what we're trying to do so I just want you guys to know that's not a brag. It's just a simple statement of the truth. So here we go. And I wanted to throw this in because this is part of a message that I received from um, Vladimir Magre that like was one of the most important messages that I've ever received in my life. Maybe these right here are some of the most important words that were ever said to me or written to me ever. I have them printed right here next to me, framed in uh in a little in a little picture frame right here because of how powerful these words are for me and so what he told me in an email was that he said gabriel i intuitively feel that you could create a large and powerful community in the english-speaking countries it could present the world with a new paradigm for overcoming the crisis he means the crisis that we face as humanity right now and he said, the correctness of my assumptions has been proven in practice. In all countries where I have ever spoken to readers, they've expressed their desire to create and be friends. I'm grateful to you that you feel the situation well and are able to do a great deal for all the people in the world. And so these were some of the most affirming words that I've ever heard and have affirmed everything that we've been doing this entire time. But it's this point about creating a large and powerful community in the English speaking countries that could present the world with a new paradigm for overcoming the crisis, bringing readers together, helping people create and be friends is the entire backbone of the movement and the new civilization that's being created. This is where it all starts connecting, inspiring people effectively, right? This is where it all begins. And so Vladimir really believes in us and his team they've written in emails to me and he himself that they're very excited to see all the events that we're doing they're excited to see all the progress that we're making they love what we're doing and honestly it's uh, the best feeling in the world to have that kind of support i would have never thought these kinds of things would happen but here we are right and so continuing on so talking about some of the things that we've done in the past I have been doing Ringing Cedars community organizing work for quite a while now. And honestly, the culmination of all this is that 
we've created the largest English speaking ringing seaters community in the world. Our community is highly active, deeply engaged, and we've been able to cultivate a very meaningful presence online. And I've always prioritized quality audience connection and engagement over quantity and large numbers, because it's one thing to have 100,000 followers who don't pay attention to you, but it's one thing to have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 who really listen to what you're saying and actually care, right? And so I've always prioritized an engaged audience and community over numbers because that's just vanity, right? I'm not looking for vanity. I'm looking for actual impact and engagement. And so uh, we, the first notable event that we did and one of the best days of my life was the first readers gathering that we did with Vladimir back in 2016 on July 23rd, which was his birthday. On his birthday, he was with us, uh, speaking with us in New York. It was an incredible time. And without going too much into what's happened in the past, there was various platforms that I had set up and many readers gatherings and meetups that have happened in the past, too numerous to list here, but things have been going for a while. If you've been around and you know what I've done in the past, then you know, right? We don't need to go too far into it. but. One of the interesting things is uh, our social media has been growing really st steadily. Um, currently, we've got almost 3,200 YouTube subscribers. As of a few days ago, this is uh, growing. We're 58,000 total views now on our on our on our YouTube channel, which is only a slightly more than a week for 3,000 more views, which is pretty good. 2,000 Telegram members. We have hundreds and hundreds of members in various regional subgroups. We have subgroups all over. The world honestly and and this screenshot here on the top right is a screenshot from our ringing seaters community platform so we've got almost i think it's probably 1100 people at this point on the community platform which is the social media site that i built for people to meet their soulmates find other people to create kins domains with and and all these things for people to connect in a meaningful way i'm going to talk more about that later but it's beautiful to see how many people are on this map from around the world, right? Most of these people are speaking English and they're located internationally. And, uh, and many of the events that we do, we have people that come from around the world. It's not just the United States. So we're really building an international community. And this is incredibly inspiring for me, you know, it makes me want to want to tear up looking at all these, uh, drops on the, on the map here. It's incredible. So, uh, we've got about 4,000 email subscribers, around 2,000 website visits per month, unique website visitors, and that's just steadily growing. Um, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. So one of the biggest things that is happening that is defining the future of our work forever is the fact that we're going to be publishing the Ringing Cedar series in English. So this is Vladimir McGree's granddaughter, Nina, a uh, friend of mine, and I look forward to seeing her again when I'm able to. And we're going to be the exclusive publisher of the Ringing Cedar series in English, which is going to be a massive driver for our mission going forward. And the plan and what's going to happen is that new readers of the books are going to find us. They're going to be immediately directed to a worldwide community of readers with strong communication infrastructure and community organization in place to receive them. So we're uniquely com positioned to create a massive impact by simultaneously being the Ringing Cedars book publisher and the community organizing infrastructure. It's going to help drive unprecedented growth in the English speaking Ringing Cedars movement. So when people open book one, they're going to see published by the Anastasia Foundation pages in the back of the book about how to get involved in communities near them all the ways to connect with our community online in person there's going to be a app for iphone and android that you can download immediately and what's going to happen is that these effective communication structures are going to help new readers find other people near them very quickly and if they're not able to find new people near them it's going to help them start their own little group to help bring more people in which is going to really drive the growth of the entire movement in the future. So I know if you're reading this or if you're listening to this, excuse me, something like that didn't exist before. 
I, I just mentioned earlier that 700,000 copies of the books were sold in English. Imagine if all of those people had what we have now when they read the books. How much more effective would everything have been? How many more kin's domain settlements would there be? How many more people would have found their soulmates? How many more things would have happened? How many more meetups would have happened in real life? It would have been unbelievable, right? But it didn't exist before. And that's the incredible opportunity that we have now. We can help all the new readers get connected very effectively. So some of the present impact that we have, um, I've been doing interviews all the time since about January 2022 is when they really started to pick up, started doing more of them. And uh, this number is a little outdated, even though it's just a week old. Um, probably, it's definitely more than 108,000 views on all these videos, collectively, the interviews that I've done, um, with the largest one being about 38,000 views, which is the largest spread of the Ringing Cedars ideas in English by one person in recent years. And I'm not saying that to say anything about me. What it is is that because of all this, we're able to reach so many new people. So many people have started reading the books now or picking them up again because of this kind of outreach, right? And that is a big impact. I heard from one of the last interviews that I just did with Alex Zek that he tried to get the books from the Australian website and they're out of the black cover. They're out of the second edition books now. They're not selling them anymore. Apparently you can only get the green covers which means that they're probably sold out, which was probably driven by us mainly um, because we're the ones spreading these ideas and promoting them so much. And so it's a big impact that we've had. Since 2021 and probably honestly late 2020, uh, we've hosted hundreds, literally hundreds of free Zoom calls for members of our community at an average of six to eight per month. You can go check the event calendar on our website right now and see how many events that we're doing with participants from all over the world. Uh, events that we do, we get people internationally. It's incredible, it's inspiring. And so one of the programs that we just recently launched, which I'm incredibly proud of, is the Regional Ambassadors Program. So these are 13 volunteer leaders hosting a minimum of two in-person readers gatherings per year on three continents in four countries and seven states in the United States. And so we have Germany, we have Bali, we have me, North Carolina, Northern California, Southern California, um, New York City, Vancouver, British Columbia, and all kinds of other places, right? And this is the beginning of many readers groups forming, people connecting in real life, two in-person gatherings per year in all of these places, at least two. And the program's gonna keep expanding. We're gonna keep getting more ambassadors, creating a huge wave of actual in-person meetups and connection, right? So we've done a bunch of uh, large live stream events providing free high quality education on topics like home birth and pregnancy, childhood education, homeschooling, creating successful kin's domain settlements and more. So if you look back in our event archive, the Russia Exchange, Russia America Exchange events, um, the Birthing Man event that we did, which was a three and a half hour session on child birth from Anastasia's perspective and all kinds of other events, right? And um, we're gonna continue doing these things because we're blessed to be able to, to provide them and share them and we're trying to educate and inspire everybody. By the way, this picture here on the right is our regional ambassadors, including myself. So some more of the current initiatives and projects that we have going on. I'm always interviewing members of the Anastasia Foundation community, we're talking about kin's domain living, raising money for kin's domains, discussing ideas from the books and more. So I don't need to explain too much about that, but we're trying to provide content that's educational, useful, inspiring, and can help people succeed, or just be a place to talk about the Ringing Cedars because there isn't really a place that has uh, Ringing Cedars content that people wanna listen to and engage. You know, this lifestyle, this philosophy, these, these ideas, right? People aren't really talking about them in the way that we are. And we are very happy to provide a place for people to hear about these things and to think about them more and just help encourage the lifestyle, right? It's, it's a really important thing to be able to, to have content. So we're really happy to be doing that. So I've gotten into speaking more at actual um, events and festivals. I did the Music in Sky Festival that's hosted by 
um, some of the guys behind Alpha Vedic. Love you guys, uh, Dr. Bear Lando, Mike Winner. And uh, that was in October 2022. I plan on doing much more of these kinds of things in the future, reaching large audiences of people that are open, who are tuned in, who actually want to receive the message. The video of this um, event is on YouTube. There's the YouTube link there, and you can just search on our channel. But it was incredibly well received. And that's more of the goal, is to not just go and speak to, to people in places that aren't going to receive the message, but to find tuned in audiences and, and go there, right, and spread the message. So um, I did the Luminous Education Revolution, did a whole presentation about Anastasia's perspective on education and child raising. That was incredible, incredibly well received. I think that's on our YouTube channel as well. I think I posted it. So that's free now. <laughs> and that's something I put a lot of work into. And so that's just something for you guys to enjoy. And so I actually um, created a Kins Domain Settlement proposal template that can be used and adapted by Ringing Cedars readers to pitch potential donors for funding the creation of a Kins Domain Settlement. And so it's just been recently finished. It's in its first version. I'm going to make a few edits and updates to it. The team and I are going to figure out the best way to share it publicly. There's a couple little considerations, but it's basically a proposal that you can take to a wealthy person in your life or some nature conservation organization, a land trust, or anybody who could potentially be open or capable of funding a kin's domain settlement. You can take this proposal that we've prepared, very thoughtfully prepared, it's like 30 slides or something, and you can edit it to your own needs, and then you can share that with them. And it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you because it puts together the narrative of what a kin's domain settlement is. It introduces the ideas to the donor in an open and clear way. And I hope that this template can help speed the creation of, of kin's domain settlements across the world, even, not just in the United States. And so I really am looking forward to releasing that soon. I recently launched the Anastasia Market, anastasiamarket.com which is an international marketplace where all the products are created by Ringing Cedars readers and we split the profits with them. And so it's what I consider it is a very important piece of infrastructure for the movement going forward, allowing readers to easily share their products with others and earn an income. So it's ultimately going to support the Anastasia Foundation and all of our work, and it's also going to support real Ringing Cedars readers. So currently we're selling paintings, uh, prints of paintings by Kumar Aljanev, who's a dear friend and brother of mine, but perhaps the best Ringing Cedars artist in the world. His paintings have graced the cover of the new Russian Ringing Cedars books. So if you go check out over there, you'll see his paintings all over their covers. And um, yeah, it's something that we're going to work to expand in the future. And we have some big plans about how to help Kins Domain creators and readers share their products. Um, give us some time because I need to get a warehouse in place and all of these things. There's a lot of logistical needs that need to be taken care of, but we will get there. And I'm really excited about that. So one of the last things here is that we've cultivated relationships with many Kins Domain Settlement founders and leaders of the Ringing Cedars movement in Russia um, from around 10 highly successful Kins Domain Settlements. So our dear Russia America Relationships Director Svetlana Semina has played a giant role in our interaction with the Russian Ringing Cedars movement. And we are very fortunate to have the support, the blessings, the guidance and friendship of many people who are very experienced in the things that we're trying to do. So we try to share their experiences with English speaking people to help speed things along. Right. And so we have so many relationships and we're going to have many more. So talking about the future, right, I made this little graphic of the yin yang and Basically, one half of it is that we will be generating revenue in a very mission aligned way. And the other half is we will be doing community building. So the plan is that we generate revenue through being the publishers of the Ringing Cedars books. And by the way, from a, for, as a personal note, the only reason that I'm interested in selling the books or distributing them is to serve the mission and to serve God and to help further the creation of this flourishing 
paradise earth that we're trying to see um, the financial stuff is just a bonus but it does help us secure uh, the foundation our work our programs and everything that we're trying to do so it's actually it couldn't be better because i was doing the work with the anastasia foundation before we had the opportunity to publish the books i didn't even know it would ever happen so this was going to happen regardless but now we just have an incredible opportunity to to do that and so it couldn't be better for supporting us in the future so generate revenue through the ringing cedars book sales siberian cedar oil sales will also be selling migre branded uh, siberian cedar oil so it's going to be fast shipping reasonable prices you're not going to have to wait for shipping and pay for shipping from russia and so you know expect that to be happening in the near future we have the anastasia market which will just grow and expand in the future donations and fundraising and events um, online and in person so what we plan to do is once we generate revenue and things like that um, we plan to hire community building staff who are going to help us even further we have an incredible team of volunteers if you're watching this i love you and thank you dearly thank you for your help um, we want to have people being paid for their work so social media managers video editor website support because i'm doing all the website stuff right now um, email copywriting graphic designer community moderators fundraising staff all kinds of things you know business managers whatever whatever all kinds of things that you need and so the goal is we make money and we invest that into community development so improving our online community infrastructure providing more effective and user-friendly tools for readers to meet each other and take action in real life and trying to inspire and facilitate co-creation so some of the projects that we have in the near future are the iphone and android app for the ringing cedars community platform that i've mentioned before i know i've mentioned it in previous videos it's a little more complicated than it seems and we just need to get that going so that's definitely going to happen um we're going to have a members only kins domain settlement founder support group so people who are serious and taking action steps towards creating a settlement we will have a private place where these people can connect share resources and create a network and um, vladimir had a wonderful idea in russia that at least one person from each settlement in russia should be in contact with the russian anastasia foundation that way they could make any connections that are needed and just give support to all the settlements um, as they were able to and settlement founders to be connected to each other uh, from our russian friends we've heard that settlement founders being connected to each other actually is a really important and beneficial thing they collaborate they share and so we want to create a group for that and the incredible thing is that most of this what i'm talking about these near future projects will be done before we even publish the books so you can imagine the kind of infrastructure we're going to have in place once this second or third wave of the movement of the ringing cedars movement starts to happen so we're also working on a platform that's going to connect landowners to kins domain creators helping facilitate the creation of new settlements um, we are very seriously planning and working on this basically a way of helping resource flow happen so people who are willing to help fund the creation of settlements for various reasons or they have land or they have capital that they would like to share and they don't know how to connect with readers we're going to create a place where that kind of connection can happen effectively cleanly um, in a very high quality way and help facilitate the creation of settlements in that way so one of the last things that we're going to be doing is organizing large in-person ringing cedars gatherings so there was plans for one i think in like 2021 but i got stuck in canada because of covid and i couldn't come to the united states so that was postponed but now i'm here and i hope to do one potentially near the end of this year or early 2024 we'll see obviously if you're watching this video there's a lot on my plate at the moment and so um we might have to do 2024 but we'll see but that will be happening especially in the future there will be consistent gatherings every year in different locations and uh, things will be happening one of the very far far future projects i just mean dream projects or things that are way out in the future can't manifest them now i want to do educational programs for k-12 through students to sponsor trips 
to kin's domain settlements, specifically kids from the urban inner city, uh, kids who don't really get to see the beauty of life presented to them in that way. Once we have settlements in the United States, I would like to help sponsor them to, to go and visit and have tours and hopefully have ongoing connections with the people who live on the settlements. And that way that interchange can happen because these are kids who are really disadvantaged, who really society forgets about them and they really, really need the help and they need the inspiration. Um, and I know this from personal experience. So we want to provide Ringing Cedar style educationing, education, educational training to readers. Um, so helping people learn how to homeschool their children and um, sponsoring training for people to, to learn, to educate children in a more Ringing Cedar style of, of way. Um, and we, we want to offer all kinds of training, honestly, birthing training online or in person to prepare families for home births from Anastasia's perspe perspective, the Ringing Cedar's perspective, so that people are equipped and trained for that important kind of thing. So some testimonials from some of our dear community members. I'll just go through this quickly. Um, Stefan, my dear brother, he's one of our regional ambassadors, actually. Um, the foundation has beautifully enriched the lives of myself and my beloved. The community that has emerged through the Anastasia Foundation has been very supporting and uplifting. It's been a great joy to learn about and connect with readers all around the world. When we connect via live calls with Gabriel, Wyatt, Ariane, Agatha, or guest speakers, the bright, expansive energy that manifests is so visceral and tangible. All right, thank you, brother. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I looked for this group right after I started reading the books. It's wonderful to connect with others who are at various stages in their life journey. What has been most profound for me is having the ability to connect both online and in real life with others who are called to remember who we really are and co-create a world filled with spaces of love beginning right here in the heart. So beautiful. Thank you. Since finding the Anastasia Foundation and its social media groups, I've profoundly connected with my tribe and continue to marvel at all Gabriel Miguel and the foundation have accomplished bringing together people around the world, reaching many more through the many interviews, working on bringing the books back into print and making precious Russian products more available, teaching about owning land and sovereignty, he and the foundation leaders providing so many fulfilling Zoom meetings and much more, right? Thank you, Mark, um, for the kind words. And honestly, there's so much to say, but um, we've really made an impact and, and, and people feel it. And so leadership, we're talking about the team now, so as the founder and executive director, um, my full-time dedication has been the key driver behind the Anastasia Foundation's growth and success. Personal financial support has enabled my full-time commitment. And so I'm doing this full-time now. I had a very successful web design business that I have pretty much closed out except for maintaining other old websites that I've done. And I'm literally doing this full-time now. And I've had some financial support that has enabled me to do this. Some of my past financial success has been able to help me continue, but I just want to highlight that without the support of other people and other readers, I wouldn't be able to be doing what I'm doing. And a lot of these things wouldn't be happening. Right. Um, and so it's not about me. It's just about the fact that these things are, are able to happen through the support of others. Right. I've been able to dedicate my time full time to this, and it's a blessing beyond words to just be able to do this. And so some of the notable things that um, I've done, I've secured the rights to publish the Ringing Cedars books, built the community and all the infrastructure basically from zero, um, created and expanded all of our programs and initiatives. And so some of the things that I've hands-on done are build all of the websites, design, built, and maintain all of the Anastasia Foundation websites, produce YouTube videos, and this is you know descriptions, thumbnails, recording, editing, m managing our social media previously and um, doing, you know, all kinds of content creation, posting, managing all of our telegram groups, the community platform. There's a lot of things, um, community building and partnerships. And so I've participated in so many interviews, um, secured and, and helped prepare a team of volunteers who are working with us now, a, a relatively large team of volunteers established a lot of really great partnerships with other people and organizations who are working towards the same goals that we are. So I've created and launched all kinds of different programs, hosted many, many live events that people have joined and uh, all the graphic design, marketing efforts, outreach, 
branding, I mean, the logo design, designing this entire deck, everything you see, um, all kinds of things I've been, I've been doing. Um, and this is just to give you guys maybe just some kind of understanding of who I am and, and what I've been doing, uh, even though I hesitate to talk about myself on camera here. So here we go. Talking about the rest of the team, the Anastasia Foundation team is comprised of very dedicated and beautiful Ringing Cedars readers and is a diverse international group of highly competent and passionate leaders. Our team is located in the USA, Canada, Germany, and Russia. So we're truly international. And these are some of the main figures behind the Anastasia Foundation. You probably know a lot of these faces here, Ariane, um, Wyatt, Svetlana, who I mentioned earlier, Agatha, who's doing so many things in Europe, Elizabeth, who helps us with organizational needs in our newsletter. So if you get our newsletter, she's the driving force behind that incredible achievement. Um, Wesley, my dear friend, who's been with me uh, forever, strategic partnerships. And so you can see the entire team on our website. There's more volunteers, but I just want you guys to get the sense that uh, we really do have an incredible team and they're doing amazing work. To sit and name all of their accomplishments would, would take quite some time, but all of so many of the events that our community has done are facilitated through these faces that you see here, right? And uh, so much of the impact that our community has made have has happened through the faces that you see here. And so I just wanna take a moment of gratitude for all of these wonderful people and the people that you'll see on the website because um, many hands make a miracle, like I said, and this is all a team effort. And so they've done so many things, it would be hard to summarize each of them, but it's tremendous and, and there's a lot that's happened. So to get into more of the financial things, um, the, the goal is that the Anastasia Foundation will achieve financial self-sustainability through the following revenue streams in which we're gonna hold the largest market share because there's very minimal competition and capitalize on high demand for products like the new Ringing Cedars books and cedar oil. And I know that all sounds really businessy or whatever, but it's just something that we have to think about. So the different ways that we plan on making an income are the Ringing Cedars book publishing. Um, the new editions are gonna sell millions and millions of copies and support the foundation long-term. And so this is one of the things that we're really trying to get off the ground now. Um, we're still working out the deal with Vladimir, but it is one of the biggest projects um, that we're trying to do. It's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some funding to achieve all that. Siberian cedar oil, so incredibly popular product. Um, we are gonna be distributing the, the oil made by Migres company. You can see a nice picture here of, of where they manufacture the oil in the cedar house that they built. Um, we do online educational events and seminars. Um, in August, 2022, we did an event which was really successful for us and really helped fund us and, and do some great things. It was the Freedom and Co-Creation Love, Land and Law event in partnership with AMG, Ron Gibson and Robert William. You guys can go and check out the recording of that if you would like. And so we have all kinds of events planned for the future. I have another one planned in May, but these kinds of educational events, we're able to share incredible information with our audience and we make a nice little profit to support the foundation so everybody wins. Um, In-person events and readers gatherings, we expect them to be also successful. Um, I'm not sure about charging for readers gatherings, but there's all kinds of events that we have planned out in the future um, and probably be making an income from that as well. The Anastasia market, which I mentioned earlier, and fundraising. So one-time donations and recurring donations from the community and donors um, is really gonna help us. That's what this is all about, right? So one of the things that I really would love to share with you guys is the idea of creating an endowment, right? And so for those who aren't aware of what an endowment is, uh, an endowment is a donation made to an institution or organization with the intention of keeping the principal intact while using the investment income to support ongoing programs in perpetuity. So basically, it's a large um, piece of principle that we don't touch and that stays invested somewhere. It's generating income and the income from that is what we're able to use. We can reinvest it or use it to support ongoing programs. And this gives a solid financial rock for the foundation, for the future, for us to continue operating, for us to continue doing all these programs. 
And so by contributing to the endowment, you're directly investing in the permanent future of the Anastasia Foundation, ensuring that this work continues long after I'm gone and able to, to run this anymore or um, long after any of us are gone. And so, <clears throat> you know, you're able to give in perpetuity. Your contribution to the endowment fund ensures the future of our work to connect, inspire, and empower Ringing Cedars readers and create Kin's domains worldwide. It provides a steady income for the foundation, safeguarding the foundation's mission from economic uncertainty and allowing for expansion as needed. And it helps create a lasting impact. So if you do give to the endowment, um, your, your gift ensures that you'll continue to touch the lives and share Anastasia's vision and dreams with truth-seeking souls for years to come, even after your lifetime. If you're doing any estate planning, you can consider including the Anastasia Foundation as a beneficiary in your will, your trusts, an IRA, investment account, life insurance policy, and other ways, so that way you can help give a permanent and lasting gift uh, to the foundation and leave a legacy of of co-creation, right? It's a beautiful thing. And so I really wanna set this up as soon as possible so that way the foundation has permanent financial security, our programs and our activities are secured for the future and that we're able to continue operating long after I leave this world and long after many of us um, leave and, and go on to our next adventure and creation here. And so it's important to establish this early and uh, I'm really happy that we're, we're leaning in this direction. So there's general giving um, as a donation opportunity. You can make a impactful direct cash gift to support the Anastasia Foundation's mission and initiatives. So you can donate online, go to anastasia.foundation forward slash gift. You can use our secure donation form to contribute any amount. You can make recurring donations, which really help give a stable income to the foundation um, and provide ongoing support for everything that we're doing. And if you wanna make some kind of customized gift, you can contact us via the contact form on the website. If you look in the main menu, you'll find the contact page and uh, you can discuss tailored giving with us that aligns with your philanthropic goals and interests. And so one of the last ways of giving that some people might not be aware of, um, so they're called donor advised funds. They're a flexible tax efficient way to support the Anastasia Foundation and using a, a DAF um, includes immediate tax deduction, tax-free growth of your funds that you initially invest, and the ability to support multiple charities or nonprofits. So to uh, support us via DAF, you can set up a DAF account with a sponsoring organization like Fidelity Charitable, and there's other organizations that help you set up these um, accounts. You can invest an initial amount and grow those funds tax-free for as long as you feel you would like to. And then once you're ready, you can recommend a grant um, to your DAF provider, uh, to the Anastasia Foundation. So they review that um, request and then they transfer the grant to us. And then we acknowledge your contribution and we provide updates on the impact of your donation. You get a donation receipt. And so um, da your DAF provider can tell you if they can support a organization like us. We're a 508C1A church, unincorporated church. It's a fully tax exempt nonprofit organization under the IRS code, not a typical 501c3. Um, so they will be able to tell you if they will be able to make a donation to us. So in conclusion, I wanted to say that you can really help us fulfill our ultimate goals here and bring the dreams and goals of Anastasia, of God to fruition by helping support us. And so our goals are bringing about joyful co-creation for all mankind with God, facilitating the co-creation of flourishing kin's domains across the entire planet, and expanding, connecting, and empowering the Ringing Cedars readership forever for, for as many generations as we possibly can. And so through our community-driven approach, the Anastasia Foundation is helping to create the new civilization on earth, one Ringing Cedars reader at a time. So I wanna say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch this. If you want to contribute, all the ways um, that you can help us were outlined before. And this painting actually here is The Billionaire um, by Kumar, who he just recently painted this. And I think it's very fitting because the beauty that you see here, this is from book 8.1, the chapter of The Billionaire, where uh, through all of his giving and his generous giving that he was able to start an incredibly bright future for the rest of the United States and help 
make his beloved happy, um, Sally, who is here in the background. You can kind of see her. And it's a beautiful thing, right? Like I said earlier, many hands make a miracle. And so we're really stepping into a new phase of our work where we're going to be supporting the entire Ringing Sears movement in the English speaking language internationally at a much larger scale than we already are now. And so I'm helping get us on the right track to this permanent um, future that we see and helping everything be successful in perpetuity. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. This fundraising deck will be updated periodically as, as needed. So you can go and see the latest version on our website, anastasia.foundation forward slash gift is the donation page. If you want to contact us, you can contact us via the contact form on the website. And just thank you. If this was interesting to you to see our work, then thank you very much. And if you want to help contribute and make all these visions a reality, then please reach out, please donate. And we really appreciate it. You're going to be helping a lot of people. And so uh, thank you very much. God bless you all. Joy, bright thoughts to everybody who's watching this. Thank you so much for your support in the past, presently, and in the future. Um, I have deep, deep, deep appreciation and gratitude for everyone who pays attention to what we're doing, has been impacted by what we're doing, and there's so much more to come. Um, there's more that I can't even share here, um, and you're going to see it all. Just give us some time to make these things happen, and uh, thank you all. Talk to you soon.